my name is Nick Cavalier. I'm the director of Force Perspective, which is a story about famed Cleveland artist Derek Hess, his trials and tribulations, his struggle with bipol bipolar disorder, alcoholism, and how that sort of shapes his artwork and how his artwork shapes people. I just was a fan of music and I found out about Derek through that world, that sort of the underground music scene in Cleveland in the early 2000s. But I didn't really meet him ever and I was back in town and I just out of the blue went to the website and shot him an email and he's like, yeah, let's get together for coffee, him, himself. And I was freaking out, like 12 year old Nick was like, yeah. We started making the short, which screened here last year and, and then when the short did well, and we had spent all that time together, then we decided to make that, you know, a longer piece. I've been a fan of Derek since I was 14 years old. Um, he's incredibly, incredibly technically accurate. I have a fine arts background and I sort of, you know, I, I saw, I, I would resonate with his artwork on many levels. The, the feelings that he was expressing, the, the bands that he was doing work with, I used to be at the shows that he would book. But outside of that, you know, I suffer from bipolar disorder as well and when we did this movie, I think Derek had um, a lot of trust in me because of that, because I understood his art and understood him as a person. I was interviewing Derek about um, when he was in his lowest of lows and he talks about committing suicide, or trying to commit suicide. And he, uh, he was in Switzerland, he walks out to the curb and almost gets hit by a bus. He's like, oh man, I could have stepped right out in front of that bus. And as he was telling the story, a bus goes by on Superior in front of his studio and there's sort of like um, the horn faintly in the background and it's really chilling. It's one of my favorite moments on screen and it was just a complete fluke. It's a huge honor to be here uh, at Cleveland because I'm from here originally and Derek's from here and the story was all shot here. So I don't really think there would have been a better festival to, to do it. The, the premiere at. For me on a personal level, being in the town that you're from and, and seeing people who are into what you're doing, um, it's amazing. I mean, it makes all of those ramen noodle nights and peanut butter sandwiches and just trying to get by worth it. I really hope the movie um, inspires people who are creative, who aren't. Um, I feel like it's, it's a hero story. It's like a superhero story. You know, it's somebody who has faced incredible obstacles and it's hardened them and shaped them. And it's also added to what they're doing. And I think, um, I just want people to walk away who maybe if you have some mental issues or if you are a creative person and you've, I want them to feel the experiences that Derek has and see that and know that it's, you know, that when I was a kid and I had my problems, you know, I wanted, I wish somebody would have told me that if I would have just channeled my energy into something creative and something that I enjoyed, that a lot of the problems I was creating was just from going on the wrong path. And I think one thing that Derek has that nobody else can take away from him ever in his life, even with everything he's been through, is that he always has his art. Mm -hmm.